Alrighty, everybody, this episode of Only Sense is presented by our good friends over at Mango. When you're thinking of Mango, think of the words Mango. This is a brand new kind of men's health company, and this sexual health should not be a tough pill to swallow, and it will not be because it is dissolvable. Their Mango-flavored rapid dissolving pill is expertly formulated to help you get in the mood, and most importantly, stay in the mood. These Mango pills work in 10 minutes or less compared to the traditional ED meds that can take up to an hour. So that's an easy choice. You want to do 10 minutes or less, or you want to do 60 minutes or less, I'm going to say 10 is what you want, obviously. Best of all, there is a 100% online ordering process with this, and you get a free medical consultation as well. Once again, that is a free medical consultation as well. These things are individually packaged for the go, and they have discreet shipping for your privacy. That actually is my personal favorite thing, that they're packaged for the go, because who doesn't like an away game? Those are the best types of games to play. So when you're thinking of Mango, just know it is go time. When things are getting hot and heavy, you cannot afford to wait an hour for that little blue pill to kick in. Mango's rapidly dissolving tablets will hit the bloodstream before you two hit the sheets. It works at as fast as 10 minutes and keeps you ready for action for up to 36 hours. Once again, that is 36 hours. That is a day and a half. That's a long time. So head over to MangoRx.com and order today using the code OnlySends at checkout. Once again, that is MangoRx.com using the code OnlySends at checkout for a discount. Trust us, you and your partner are going to have a great time with Mango. So go over there. Once again, MangoRx.com. Use code OnlySends at checkout. Okay, folks, got another episode of Only Stands. First one I've recorded for a while from New York City, which is very exciting. I feel feel back at home. Feels kind of nice. And uh, we have Autumn. I don't know how to say your name. I feel like you, your name is different on every social media platform. We have Autumn Ren, Autumn Renee, just yeah. Autumn. Well, what is it? That's actually my name, Autumn Renee. My is, first and name. Is that your name. real name? Yeah. Wow. It's on my ID. You, People don't believe me. You're a real name, huh? You yeah. got your ID? Let me see. It. Well, actually, last time I did that on live, they were like, you need to cover most of that makes sense so we have autumn renee that's your first and middle name yeah because so I, I feel i felt awkward like he walked in i was calling you autumn it's let, autumn let, let's call a spade a spade mm-hmm. autumn is, is i could see maybe some strippers or something being called autumn i saw you had another guest on named autumn and it's yes, not often that you meet another autumn i actually had a girl on re- a few months ago her name is raven love was that her real name and it's her real name no way well you're glenny balls yeah, is I that made, your real I name? Made, no, yeah, it says it on my birth certificate. Came out wow. that way. Yeah, yeah, but I made that name up. Wow. To say to be Raven Love or Autumn, that's I could just see Autumn being a big only. Well, I cut it name. to Autumn Wren because when I started OnlyFans, Addison Ray was very popular, mm. and I wanted to be kind of like an Addison Ray, so I went Autumn Wren instead of Autumn Renee. Okay, I was Fancy. inspired. Um, first question I ask every guest, every uh-huh. new guest, I'm um, where are you from? Fill us in. I'm from Louisville, Kentucky. Louisville. So that's how you say it, Louisville? Louisville. If I say Louisville. No, you don't say it like wrong. that. You ever been to the Slugger Museum? I have. How'd that go? I've gotten a tour in a bat maid. <laughs> wow. It's kind of like a rite of passage to get a mini bat on a field trip when you're in elementary I've school. I've actually, I feel like I've heard a lot. I know we were talking before this, you were saying you're not much of a party or whatever. No, I'm not. But I have heard from multiple people that Louis- Louisville, Louisville is a very underrated, fun place. Really? I don't even I think, think we have, have a strip club. Strip clubs aren't fun. Strip oh, clubs stink. I've never been. They're the worst. Are they? Yeah, they're not. Did you go to one in Vegas? Um, no, I recorded a podcast from one. Oh, wait, no, I did go to one in Vegas. Yeah. It was for a party, though. Are there people, like, flying from the ceiling? No. I oh. thought that happened before, though. I had a show called Atlantic City. There were girls doing, like, I don't know what they call it, but they're, like, rummaging through cloth. You ever see that? Like, oh, yeah. They were flying in the sky with cloth. Yeah. That was in Atlantic City one day at, like, 4 a.m., and uh-huh. I was like, this is Atlantic City at 4 a.m. Why are you doing What is acrobats? Atlantic City? Atlanta? Atlantic City is a city <laughs> on the coast of the Jersey Shore. Oh, okay. It's a beautiful place. It used to pop off in the 1920s and 30s. Wow, you know the history. Ever watched Boardwalk Empire? Great no, show. I haven't. It's a great show. It's about the history of Atlantic City. And okay. then, um, yeah, about the 70s, it popped off more than the 90s, really died down. Mm-hmm. And now it's just like our gross, depleted East Coast version of New Jersey, of Vegas. You gave me a lot of history there. I kind of clocked yeah, out. I like I'm going to be honest. I enjoy history. So Atlantic City was the one well, place I've seen. has a lot of history. Give me, give me some Louisville historical facts. The Slugger Museum made the first bat. That would make sense. That's a history fact for you. When, when did they play it? Did Abner Doubleday hit it, get a hit with it? I don't know. I don't know. What else are the other attractions in Louisville, Kentucky? We have roller coasters. Uh, Derby. Oh, duh. Derby. You ever been? The Kentucky Derby. Uh huh. I have never been. I would love to go. I've never been to the Derby either. I've never been in your I've been Louisville. to the Oaks. Like the day before, the day before Derby. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You've never been to the Derby, though? Holy in high hell. school, it was like the big thing to go to Oaks and be in the infield yeah. and like smoke a cigar. That we have, so we have at the Belmont Stakes. Belmont's right here, too. Is that horse racing? Yeah. That's a triple crown. So every year, every year in horse racing, there's uh, the Kentucky Derby, uh-huh. the Preakness Stakes, 
and the Belmont Stakes. Uh-huh. And if you win those three, you win the Triple Crown. Those are the big three races. What about that horse from Kentucky that won all of it? There's a movie about it. Secretariat? Secretariat. Yes. Yes, Kentucky. Yeah, Tobey Maguire. Disney movie. Yeah. Is it a Disney movie? I believe Seabiscuit. Oh, I'm thinking of Seabiscuit. I don't know what that is. Seabiscuit is maybe a fake horse. I don't know if Seabiscuit It sounds like it's about a seahorse. I'm horse, thinking of Seabiscuit. Not a land horse. It's a, no, it's... It's a it's a land horse, but the shit, but the movie's called Sea Biscuit. Have you ever thought of buying a horse? I, that's definitely a life dream of mine. Really? I think eventually, if I ever have enough money, it would be a very cool thing to yeah have a piece of a horse. Would you want to breed a horse like Kendall Jenner's breeding a horse? No, I don't think I'd want to be involved in that. But I think okay. just having just having one. I'm not, I'm not even the main owner. Just have a little stake in one. Just be like, oh, yeah. that's, that's my pony down there. Where would you put it? And whatever that's not for me to decide that's because for I'd, the other be a, person. I'd be a minority owner <laughs> okay but it would just be for me to just watch the races yeah and pop off that'd be fun horse racing is very fun I love you can win racing. a lot of money hey if you, well the thing about that is you could win a lot of money but if i ever did invest in a horse uh-huh. i think i would have enough money that i wouldn't care if it won that is true and that that's, that's how i feel about like owning a restaurant Oh, you like ever I've thought always, about that? I've always said I would love to own a restaurant. Yeah. But I would only I would only ever purchase or own a restaurant if I had enough money to not care if it failed. Right. What kind of restaurant would it be? This, is, this could be a long conversation. I'm ready for it though. I like Italian oh, food, man. spaghetti. There's so many, there's so many options. If I ever open so I'm I'm a I'm a I'm a man of many of many ideas. Uh-huh. I've always said I want to have a thing called Ball's Land where it's just like a Kind of sounds kind of epstein theme it doesn't park. Mean, it doesn't mean just be epstein It does sound that. But I'd love to just have like a resort just modeled after me and have uh, all different. Because I love so many different types of restaurants. Like okay. I, I love. Mexican? I love a, a Jewish deli. Never been to a Jewish, a Jewish deli. Oh, well, What's want, the difference between a regular deli? Everything. I mean, a Jewish deli. On a Jewish deli, notoriously, you, it's a sit down place. You'll sit down. You'll mm-hmm. eat. No, random delis, any deli you'll find. Uh-huh. You go to the counter, you order your sandwich, you head out, uh-huh. and they have everything you want. They, you, you want a grilled chicken sandwich, you want a turkey club, they have it. Blah, it's blah, sounding kind of like Subway. But a Jew, effectively, it's mostly, Subways are modeled after delis. Okay. And then you have Jewish delis, which are traditional New York delis. The Katz's deli is one, Second Avenue deli is one, Bastrami Queen is one, uh, Ben's Kosher deli is one. Also, my favorite delis, Lido Kosher deli on Long Island. Shout out to Lido Kosher deli. <laughs> they... They're traditional Jewish delis. I'm not Jewish, by the way. Uh-huh. Uh huh. I was about to ask. No, we were I getting love, there. I respect their cuisine. Uh-huh. No pork, right? No pork. No pork. If you're kosher, yeah. I don't eat pork. So, like, anyway. so Ben's kosher deli, one of my favorite delis by the mall in Long Island. That you can't get a Reuben. They don't. They don't serve cheese, so you can't get a Reuben. But it's still fantastic. Why no cheese? Um, it's, there's something with Vegan? cheese. With there's something why you can't have cheese when it's not kosher. Either way, um, hmm. Jewish deli. They, they'll serve pastrami, corn, mostly like real meats, pastrami, corned beef. They'll do a brisket. And it's like like authentic roast. Do they have beef. turkey? They have, most of them will have turkey. I just care about but a turkey but like, sandwich. But it's not like they're making cold cut turkey. They're gonna like legit make a turkey. Cut open and the then, turkey right then and, and there. And then they'll, they'll have great so, great appetizers and sides like creplox or uh, matzo ball soup. Or, I don't know or any of the things you're talking like ha- about. It's like a Jewish version of a hash brown. Uh huh. It Jewish jelly is fucking awesome. I'm it's loving the passion. I love the Jewish jelly. <laughs> But then again, like I, I've recently been saying, like some of my favorite restaurants are, I think, I think my new favorite type of restaurant. Mm-hmm. Is I'm Italian and Greek, so obviously Italians oh, are great. I love Greek food. I think my new favorite type of restaurant that I've been going to around the country is a high end Greek restaurant. Have you ever been to Greece? No, me either. I don't. I don't necessarily want to go, but I think a high end Mediterranean restaurant, like a Dio, or I'm, better from Tampa. I told you I've about never it. Been there, though. You said you've been there. No, I haven't. Oh, sorry. Okay, so enough about restaurants. Enough about them. Enough about restaurants. This is an OnlyFans podcast. It is, this is your first podcast. Of it all time, is. by the way. Thank you for letting me take your podcast virginity. My virginity's gone. Appreciate that. Thank you very much. Thank and, you for um, having me. Are you nervous? I'm so nervous. I can tell. I feel, don't, don't say don't that. Don't be nervous. Don't call me out. Don't be. I. You said you were nervous. I, I want. I want you to know. What's... I would say probably nine out of ten guests on the show mm-hmm. will leave here and say this is the best podcast they've done, most fun podcast they've done. Okay. Well, you're setting the bar pretty high. What if I'm no, ever invited on one. another one? I, I, by default, I'm already the best podcast I've ever done. Yeah, that's true. By default, I already win. Yeah. That's another one for the for the tally book. Depending on how I do, I don't know if I'm going to be invited on another. So, <laughs> relax. I'm just messing. So, fill me in. You're on, you're on OnlyFans. Uh-huh. And uh, hey, hi, how you been doing? How'd you get into that? I've been doing pretty well. Um, I started when I was either 18 or 19. I don't really remember. It was kind of near the end of COVID. Ooh. Late 2020, early 2021. Classic. The old COVID boom. People were less scared of COVID when I started. People okay. were going back to work when I started. Okay. I missed the perfect opportunity. So you, yeah, you, so you did the opposite. You said people are actually going back to work. Now let me get naked. 
Yeah. You should, well, you I was have... in college, like in a sorority. Where, where'd you go? I went to Western Kentucky University. Oh my God, go Hilltoppers. How'd you know? I like I like to gamble on sports. Oh, okay. <laughs> so I'm, a, I'm a fan of Big Red. Have He's you ever a, gambled on them? I, I used to love the Western Kentucky Hilltoppers. Do they win? Mike White, quarterback, shout out Mike White. They were a great over team. They would score a lot of points. Wow. Like Is probably, he still there today? What? Is he still there? Uh, no, he was on the, the Dolphins. Dolphins last time. He was on the Jets. Good he was for the him. Cowboys. He was oh, on sorry. the Dolphins now. But he went to Western Kentucky, so that's uh-huh. how I know the Hilltoppers. Yeah, that was me. They were a great, great over team to bet. Loved them. I'm so happy for you. Where, what else, can you say what sorority you were in? I was, I wasn't actually initiated. So I did Ooh. all the, um, like the wearing the white dress thing. Yeah, can you get, we don't get many sorority chicks in here. Can you fill me in on what they made you do during Well, uh, I didn't get initiated, so I didn't do all the things. But I went on dates with like upperclassmen, girls, Ooh. to figure out who I wanted to be my bigger sister. Okay. And that felt somewhat inorganic. Yeah. It was kind of like a let's meet at this place, see if we bond, and if I can call you my little sister. Big sister. They were saying little sister oh, okay. to we're me. To you. Yeah, but I ended up getting a fantastic big sister at the time. Okay. Um, and then I dropped out before I got fully initiated. Now, I didn't drop out. I just went back home, so I wasn't on campus anymore, and I didn't mm-hmm. want to be part of it or pay for it. Now, did you drop out to do OnlyFans? I so I went to college my entire freshman year. My first semester, I ended up dropping out of the campus life, and I moved back home. Because I had some mental health issues going on. Fair. COVID. It happened to all of us. Happens to the best of us. I'm not embarrassed. And then I went back my second semester, just kind of chilled in my dorm room. One thing about Western Kentucky is the dorms suck. I wouldn't picture Western Kentucky to have the most luxurious dorms. You wouldn't have. Respectfully. You had to have boys check out at nine. Boys couldn't sleep over. That's a problem. That's a problem because only in the all girls dorm, but the co ed dorms or the mm-hmm. boy dorms, boys could stay as long as they you wanted. Could pop off in them. So, how sexist is that? It is pretty sexist. I agree. Yeah. I think, I think women should be able to have dudes over as long as they want. I agree. Thank you for saying how that. Was your, uh, how was your experience in college? Did you pop off? Uh, I didn't party. I kind of stayed in my dorm room. I had Fazoli's a lot on the floor of my dorm and watched a bunch of movies. So you probably don't have a problem with the dudes leaving at night anyway. Well, I had a boyfriend. I have Ooh, a boyfriend. We've okay. been dating since high school. High school. Okay, sweethearts. so you were mad that he couldn't stay to pass nine. Of course I was mad. Ah. Yeah. He did go to Western Kentucky. He did go to Western Kentucky. So you guys were going at the same time? Yeah. Why don't you just go where he was? Well, I went to his room quite often, but mm-hmm. he had a roommate who was always there. So us three got really close. Okay. It was like two twin beds. That's always been an interesting three. thing. Making a high school couples going to college together. Yeah, it happened. I'm glad but you, then I'm he glad dropped you left out because I think that works out. He dropped out, out within three weeks. Yeah. So and he was home, home, and I stayed. How far? So you, you lived within distance to Western Kentucky? Two hours. It was a medium distance relationship. That is a very medium distance. Yeah. yeah. Like I went to I went to three hours away to college. Oh wow! And I thought that was so far. Away. That is kind of far. I hated the two hour drive. Anyway. Anyway, sorry. How'd you get into OnlyFans? Oh yes, I had to pay for my college tuition somehow. Makes sense. That we've heard that story before. Yeah. So I started OnlyFans and I ended up making a bunch of money and dropped out because I was making too much money. Now, what, what, when you say you started one, were you just what was your what were your steps? Because you're just a normal college girl. Yes. So what what did you do? How did you get a following? What uh-huh. were you posting on there? Give us the full run. Well, here's my um, where I was a lucky girl. Uh, when I was 17, I was very big into social media. In high school, as a minor, I was big into social media, and I loved posting under boob skimpy bikinis at 17 so i kind of grew up a following and was like foreplaying them for years Mm -hmm. without even knowing i was foreplaying them oh yeah so i had to get them in yeah so let's say when you start your only fans you don't have many followers do you remember how many followers you had let's say on instagram i don't recall but i had enough my first month i made 100k you made 100k in your first month by yourself yes what the fuck well i had the following like i what the, what, what'd you do what they were, were just waiting what the hell are you posting out there? i How wasn't even doing month? crazy Jesus. things yet are you posted nudity uh yeah no face though but but you're posting the link only you had to dm me for it 100k first month yeah. jesus christ yeah so i was like ah oh, this is going somewhere fucking holy hell yeah thank you Oh, my word. Okay, so this is like end of COVID. Uh-huh. Let's say start of 2021. Yeah. And you're posting nudes, but not yeah. posting the link. Yeah. 
Okay. And I also blocked Kentucky. So you can block a state and like okay. an area. So I blocked my. So you blocked everybody that would possibly know you. Yes. And have have uh, the your fellow Kentucky Kentuckians figured it out yet? Very quickly they did. So you are you like a <laughs> folklore hero? Are you a folk hero at home? Am I a hero? No. Do I cause a lot of relationship issues? I can imagine. Yes. Oh, you have any good juicy relationship issue stories for us? Um, uh, relationship issue stories and no family issues. Yes. Louisville's a very big Catholic community. I can imagine. So a lot of people were very upset. I went to an all girls Catholic school. I was in the all like the cheerleading team for the all boys Catholic so school. You're just an all American girl. Yeah. Yeah. I guess you could all say. All girl Catholic <laughs> cheerleader. Were you prom queen too? No, I wasn't. Yeah, prom was canceled. I, I don't have a prom either. Yeah. But um interesting. So you're so you're from Kentucky, Bible Belt. Bible Belt? Yeah. What's that mean? Sorry. I don't know. You, you're from Kentucky. You never heard the phrase Bible Belt? No. <laughs> it's, like the, it's like the middle of the country. That's like a very religious. Oh, yeah. That's Kentucky, us. Kentucky, Tennessee, We're a Bible Belt. Indiana, Nebraska. It's the Bible Belt. Okay. Never heard the phrase Bible I'm Belt. I'm just going to trust you. And I didn't think Nebraska was close to me. It's probably two states away. Oh, okay. Never been. I'm stunned you don't know what Bible Belt is, but okay. we're going to move on. I'll never forget now. Uh, no, interesting. Okay. So, start of 2021, mm -hmm. you're, moving, you're moving up at OnlyFans. You're not even posting a link yet. When did you fuck? Because I, I checked your Twitter before. Uh huh. You're popping off a little bit nowadays. Thank you're, you. You're, uh, you're posting some stuff. I post things. You're posting some stuff. So like, when did you make that jump to the to the full posting of the things? Around month two or three. So, so, you, saw, so you saw the six digits and said, let me, yeah, let me. Let me make more. Let me make seven digits. Yes. But I still kept my face out of it the first few months. So you're still doing face out of it. Uh -huh. Did you see the numbers increase once you started doing everything? Um, It was still in the 100K. We never went up to two. That quickly. But you're at two now. Um, I've dabbled. Wow. I'm not going to say I've skyrocketed, had these crazy months. I, I guess I'm an average six-figure girl. So we can confirm millionaire. Are you a millionaire? No. Oh. Fuck no. I guess you could say I am. Congratulations. Thank you. What you said you're 21? I have faith in you that you're going to get there, too. You, you, I can say your age, right? Yeah, you can. 21-year-old 20, millionaire off OnlyFans? Yes. You know, I wish I could start lying about my age. Oh, thank you. <laughs> Thank you for the claps. Not too claps. shabby. 21 and a millionaire. <laughs> I used to lie about my age, but now I can't because it's too obvious that I'm 21. Yeah. Well, the hey, boobs aged me. The boobs aged you. What? Whatever. You're a millionaire. You're 21. Yes, I'm doing the thing. You made your first million. What are you buying? Uh, I made my first million a few years ago. And what'd you buy? What was your first big purchase? Nothing. I'm stingy. I told you this before. So the no cool purchases. No. Glad you made a million bucks. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> I still drive the car that my parents got me when I was 16. So n nothing? Like, what's the most expensive thing you, you bought? Since um, you uh, this year I bought a house four months ago. So it would be that. Thank you so much. Unbelievable. Yes. And before that, I bought my boyfriend a truck. Okay. So you're, you're, you're a giver. I'm a giver. You're generous. I like to do gifts. Is there something you eventually want to purchase in the, in the future? Um, uh, I've thought about dabbling into a car. But I feel like I would like that for two months and I wouldn't You've been care making anymore. millions for two years. You could get yourself a car. Yeah, but what if I stop making millions? What am I going to do? Then you still have a car. I like, already have a car, though. Think of it as an investment property. Maybe. But cars depreciate, as I've been told. I don't know. I'm just, I mean, I'm just trying to hype you up. Thank you. I appreciate what kind of car the effort. Would you get? Uh, Porsche Cayenne, probably. You could get a Porsche Cayenne. I know. I could. Get a Porsche. Get, you think? Get a Porsche. My birthday's next week. I've been thinking about getting one. Turn 22 next week. I know. This is probably going to come out. After you turn 22. Wow. Happy birthday to me. I'm hoping. Happy birthday to you. Thank you. I'm hoping that when this episode comes out, you send us a photo of the Porsche. To put yeah. In the Is that going to be like the thumbnail? That would be a good thumbnail. Would only, it? Only, only fans millionaire buys herself Porsche. Okay. I'll think about it. Convince only fans millionaire to buy herself Porsche. What about the house? The house is way more impressive than, sorry, getting a car. It doesn't have the same pizzazz as a Porsche. It doesn't. No. I have two acres though. Whoa. That's pizzazzy. Yeah. I don't know. See. You don't know. You don't know a few things about New York. I don't know how big an acre is. We it's don't, pretty we don't big. Two acres here. Yeah, I'm gonna have to hire someone to cut the grass. Cool. Sure. Well, congratulations on your acres. I appreciate that's pretty that. sick. Um, so I just checked out your OnlyFans earlier. Just just subscribed for science. How do you feel about together. it? Uh oh. It's good. But Thank you. It's great. I, I think you should maybe post less stuff on the wall though. You think? You're posting a lot of stuff on the wall. Did you sub to the VIP or the free? Yeah, with the three dollar VIP. So on the VIP, I'll post titties. Yeah, but yeah, on yeah. the free, it's no kind of like a no titties are on there, but nipples aren't. You want to so see boobs the boobs are there. Yeah, yeah. I mean, who wants to see a boob without a nipple? 
Exactly. Nobody. You got to get to the VIP. You know what really annoys me? What annoys you? When there, when there's some chicks, I've seen some OnlyFans girls, they'll uh-huh. literally post a nude. Yeah. And they'll just put the, the slightest little line on yeah. their nipple. You can still see the whole nipple. Just let us see it. But they'll put like the like a dot. They'll just put a dot there. Like there's no reason for this dot to be That was there. a silly waste of time to edit all that. They're, you, they're, 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 no, no, no. They should no. do it because I want to pay to erase the dot. Oh, but like I can still see everything. You're thinking from a business perspective. Yeah. I'm doing too much. Yeah. You're not a businessman. You're the business man. Jay-Z? Is that from a movie Jay-Z? or something? No. Nope. It's a Jay-Z lyric. Went over my head. But I like that one lyric and it's like, if you can't afford it twice, you can't afford it at all. If you can't buy it twice, you can't afford it. I think that was ASAP Rocky. Never heard that, but that's a good that's good ideology as well. It's like what I just yes. said before with the restaurant. Yeah, I don't want to open a restaurant if I can't afford to lose it to fail. Which I think it's fair. Yeah. Um. So anyway, I saw you open your OnlyFans. I saw stuff you posted on there. Mm-hmm. Your uh, your bio says my videos include BG, GG, threesomes, foursomes, foot jobs, puss, anal, BJ, JOI, squirting. Does it say puss? Plus more, it does say puss. It says pussy. I, I didn't. Oh, I, 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 I was took like, the, like puss? I took the liberty of taking the Y away myself. Okay, thank you. Uh, squirting plus more. If you have a special naughty request, just message me. I personally respond to every message and truly enjoy connecting with you. I sure do. Such a nice welcome message. So of all the things I just said, what would you say is your favorite? What what makes you pop off the most? Um, my boy girl does the best. Makes sense. Next would be solo and third would be girl girl. Classics. Yeah, that is a classic. How about the, the, foursomes the, four, the, the foursomes? Those are all crazy? girls. All so girl it's foursomes. not like a co-ed yeah. threesome foursome. I think as as a consumer, yeah. If I'm if I'm watching a girl, girl, uh-huh. I don't need to see a fourth girl or a third girl. I'm just happy for two. I have a question for you. Please, from that bio, when you hear threesome, foursome, are you expecting coed? Do you feel like yes. I've scammed you now that I'm it's not only saying girls? I think you're scamming me? But when I see the word threesome, I don't expect it to be a threesome with three women. Oh, should I take it out and or like confirm? Ooh, G G G I don't. Yeah, just say G G G. I don't want to. I don't want your bio to hinge on stuff i think you're already saying i'm doing too much on OnlyFans. i don't think my subs are gonna be happy when i make these changes no i'm just i'm just <laughs> simply saying maybe we should pay for some okay okay you know what I'm saying? yeah make gotta be that 10 money at some yes. point. <laughs> yeah yeah but i see three some i think i think boy girl girl okay some. i'm gonna clarify which is a great video to watch who doesn't like enjoying that yeah that's an all-american classic Mm-mm. um i noticed you also true i'm just gonna read you some quotes and you Made on your OnlyFans. Okay, yeah, go for it. Some captions. Yeah. You recently put up, um, would you sit beside me in school? I would give you sloppy head if you let me take ideas from your paper. Any classic college or school stories you got you to share us with? Uh, when I was in middle school, I used to get in trouble a lot doing some naughty things. Okay, sorry about that. I mean, I, I we, went to an we all girls about middle school Catholic stuff? school. What's, what's going to happen with the I went girlies? To all, I, I didn't go to all boys, but they go to Catholic school my whole life. With the girls there? Yeah, go ahead. Do you have to wear a uniform? Yep. Whole life. Did you like the girlies in the uniform? I mean, it's not like their uniforms are revealing. Oh, well, we could wear like knee high socks and like skirts. It was kind of hot. Yeah, I mean, we're going to cut this because it's like high school people. But like the biggest mm-hmm. thing was the girls with the huge tits, they would always like, they would have to wear buttons because they're, they would have to wear like, uh, the pins. things you clip in. They would have to wear pins because their buttons would pop off. Oh my gosh. That was always a big thing. Like, yeah. oh, that girl's had, that girl has a pin in right there. You ever see girls' buttons pop off? Not like in real time, like a movie. It's like yeah, the boobs yeah. like appeared out of the blue uh-huh. and they would like pop a shirt. Yeah. Because some girls would have to always wear a pin because their shirts would break. Yeah. That was always a big deal. Like, oh, she's got a pin in today. They still worried about our skirt length, even though it was all girls. Yeah. That, like, some girls would roll them up. That I mean, girls liked girls. <clears throat> yep. Um, another one you said, um, I would take pics with your dick like this. Would you make it your lock screen? Would you? Did anybody send uh, some confirmation of them making that their lock screen? Because for, for context... It's a photo of her with the dick in her mouth. That's pretty close up. Did anybody send confirmation making that their lock screen? I've had a lot of people make me their lock screen. But dick in mouth lock screen? No, not no, that. Not people don't know how to... I mean, the average guy doesn't know how to mm. pick, start, edit. That's true. How do you penis. feel being people's lock screens? That must be a nice feeling. I think it's very sweet. That must be a nice I feeling. I love feeling loved. And I think my Who subscribers doesn't? do love me. Who doesn't? Have you ever um, ever run into some... you ever meet a subscriber in person? I have. How would that go? Have you seen my TikTok where I do those kind of skits? No. It's like a, let me give you an example. You're getting home from a date. Ooh. The girly, me, in front of the camera, is saying, you want to come inside? Classic. Or he's saying, you want, can I come inside? You want to come inside for a coffee. And then I say, I prefer it on my face. And it's like kind of a funny little skit that you see on TikTok. And you're like, like. So I make a lot of those. Hmm. As I've made them in Walmart quite often, a subscriber has found me in Walmart and asked for a picture. Wow. He had to have been a teenage boy. Good for him. He embraces. Yeah. The other day I was at a basketball game at the garden 
and three like 12 year old kids go up to me asking for a picture Aww. i was like fuck i'm blue in these poor kids <laughs> fuck i hope they're sunday conversation fans. <laughs> and not only stands fans yeah either they probably way. are either way um you also put up there should i make more cosplays I you, don't dabble in the, in the cosplay, cosplay game. So much. Cosplay, yes, no. I want to get into it because the cosplay girls are rolling in yeah, money. Yeah, they pop off. They're People just love the cosplays. sleeping in money. Have, have there been any you've been thinking about maybe doing? I've done cow. Don't know who cow is. Who's cow? A cow. Oh, just a cow. A cow. Did the people enjoy just milk? A cow? Ooh, um, yeah. I did like a milky shower cow scene. Okay, it did pretty well Good for calcium. Um, I've done like a with the foursomes, the all girl foursomes that I've done. Mm. We've done like a black cat. Ooh. Hooters girls. We did like the scream scene where we Classic. screamed. People love the screams. They do. You got any wish list cosplays you want to do? Um, I can see you popping off on like a Daphne from Scooby Doo. You think? Yeah, a lot, a, people, a lot of people love Velma. Wait, is she the redhead? Who's the redhead? That's Velma. Daphne's the hot blonde. I oh, see. with the purple. But Velma's in. Everyone's doing Velma. You could bring back Daphne. I should bring back Daphne. Yeah, bring back Daphne. Not a bad what idea. else? What kind of cosplays do you like? What else? I don't really like any. There's none. There's none off the top of my head that I like. I'm not really yeah. a big comic book person. Me either. I mean, the classic ones is like Princess Leia. Everyone yeah, does that. Yeah. Then obviously, I feel like Velma's a top one. People love um, yeah. what's the Margot Robbie one? Oh, Harley Quinn. Wolf People of Wall love Street? Har- Harley Quinn. Wolf of Wall Street would be a good one. Fantastic you should movie. Do a Wolf of Wall Street. One. I watched it for the first time last month and I loved it. Really? Felt super ambitious. Really? Also thought about making bank accounts in Switzerland. That's a great scene when that, when that lady runs out naked from the Switzerland bank account. Yeah. It's a yeah. long movie. It's a very long movie. Three hours. It or some of Scorsese's best. I took intermissions for sure. Of course you did. Yeah. Especially if you watch it at home. That's a I movie did. you got to see in theaters. Oh, yeah. But that came out 10 years ago, so you can't be checking that out. You know, movie theaters are doing that now. They're hosting throwback movies. Are they? Yeah. I would go to that. Oh, I have a present for you. Oh, do you? Please fill me in. I would love yeah. to. I would love it. Some guests bring me presents. This sounds nice. It's in a pocketbook, though. I don't know What's how the best it... present you've got? Um, our lovely, one of our favorite guests, Lexi Goldberg, has got me shoes a lot. Wow, got that's me two nice. two pairs of shoes. Very good shoes. How did she know your shoe size? She DM me an S. 13. That's nice. No big deal. Okay, we well, had to close your eyes because it's not wrapped. Is it going to be like a tarantula It's not going to be shit? weird. If it's a tarantula, we're going to have a problem. I'll, I'll show him and All then right. he'll confirm that it's not My weird. My eyes are closed. As long as it's not like a, like a, is it, it's keep not, them closed. it's not a creature. It's not a critter. It's not a critter. Are you going to put it in my, in my hand? I'm going to put it in your <laughs> I'm actually kind of concerned that it's going to be a critter. <laughs> it's not. Why would if, I have a critter a in my purse? Why are you going to do it? How would it have stayed chill so in ha- my purse? Are you purse? prepared to present me the gift? I need to take it out of my purse. So you just need to. Okay. So my eyes are still closed. I'm like concerned it's going to be a threat. <laughs> He's giving thumbs up. You'll like it. Okay. Put it in my hand. Well, stop shaking. I'm a little concerned. <laughs> stop. <laughs> oh my God, no way. It's unrated and widescreen. I already had this, but oh, thank you so okay. much. <laughs> I haven't seen this in so long. Thank you so much. You're this welcome. is so nice. Oh my God. So where'd you see that? Where'd you, where'd you know to get me this? This is amazing. I ordered it off Amazon. Oh my God. You thank told you so me you much. liked that movie. Thank you so much. So this is uh, Dukes of Hazard, <laughs> starring uh, Charlotte William Scott, Jessica Simpson, and Johnny Knoxville. Mm-hmm. It's one of my seminal memories growing mm-hmm. up. Mm-hmm. Jessica Simpson. In Dukes of Hazard is probably the the reason that I am the man I am today. Yeah, she is. It felt fitting. I think the most. I think Jessica Simpson as Daisy Duke is the most beautiful woman. The most beautiful woman has ever been in a role in my life. Ever. You ever see the Dukes of Hazard? I've um, never seen it. Oh, you got to watch these. These boots are made for walking music video. That literally changed my life. You sent me it. My, I watched yeah, it. My my twelfth birthday. Literally, we watched. We all huddled around and watched the Dukes of Hazard. Dukes boots are made for walking music video. I had a Jessica Simpson birthday cake. That's a sweet memory. I had a Jessica Simpson birthday cake. With titties all over the place? It was literally her giving the peace sign in an American flag bikini. Does really she have big it. titties? Yeah. Yeah. And she's her, literally, her, I see her on my ceiling every day. I still have a poster for her on my ceiling. Yeah. This is amazing. This You're is such welcome. a nice sentimental gift. I'm so Thank glad you, you so like much. it. This, this is amazing. I put a lot of effort into it. I'm I was going to dress up as her, but then I was no, like, it's cold. No, this is great. Okay. This is, this is amazing. Unrated. Actually, wait. Speaking of you saying you should dress up as her. Uh huh. Cosplay. Cosplay. Wow. Everything makes sense now. It all comes full circle. Yeah, it does. Oh my god, this is amazing. Thank I'm so, so glad much. you like it. Oh, I like. This, I love this movie. This brings me back. This Next time amazing. someone gives you a gift and you already have it, you don't say that though. You don't no. say I already have this. Well, I you know I haven't seen it in years. I may have lost it, but trust me, all right. I had this unrated. Now you got it though. I can guarantee you, I had this unrated. <laughs> that was nothing, nothing like getting an unrated movie back in like 2007. Oh, okay. Yeah, for the I'm, record, I haven't seen this in years. I, I will well watch it. Uh, you spoke so highly about it. Jessica in that movie. Mm-hmm. Unbelievable. Thank you. She's so that much. girl. You're welcome. Oh, I'm not, that is you. I'm at the point in my life where I don't, I don't want this to sound like like I'm an asshole or something. Uh-huh. 
there's not many gifts I like. Uh-huh. Like if you walked in here with an Apple Watch, yeah. I wouldn't have cared. I wouldn't have cared this about that. This is a nice year. sentimental gift, and I appreciate Those it. Those are the it's best. Ma- it's making me smile. Thank Good. you so much. I'm ah, glad you like damn. it. Okay. Beautiful. Amazing. <laughs> yeah, now, now I'm all hyped up. <laughs> um, we're going to continue, though. Thank okay, you. I'm ready. Ah, Sorry, I keep right. distracting you. No, I'm going to keep looking at Jessica now. Okay. Um, you uh, tweeted, not tweeted, but you put on your OnlyFans, um, use lingerie for grabs, LOL. Yeah. LOL. How often do you sell and you use lingerie for? I used to do it a lot. Use panties with a Polaroid. And um, when we're talking used, how used are we talking? Like a few days. A few days. But I typically, I don't know if I want to say this on air, I typically wear my underwear for a few days. Is that bad? And then just get a new one? And then I just wash it. But I'll wear them on repeat. I don't think it's the worst thing I don't think world. it's the worst, but I could totally I'm sell those. not work it out, maybe? I don't work out. Same. Yeah. Who has um, time for that? No one. Not me. Unless you're a fucking dumb, dumb trainer. Dumb, dumb. Anyways, um, speaking of that, though, yeah. um, you, so you're saying you sold your underwear. How, do you have a ballpark of how much you usually sell them for? Uh, like 200 That's it? Yeah. Oh. Well, I'm not going to rip that's people a deal. off. I thought you were going to say at least 1000 thousand. Here's my I'm thing. Not even, I'm not a sold underwear guy, but if you are, this is a deal, fellas. Thank you for saying that's a oh, deal. What, what, is, what is steal? Here's my thing. I go on live a lot on OnlyFans. Mm-hmm. I think I've told you this. Yes. And a lot of times, girls on live are just kind of begging for money. Like, mm-hmm. hey, send me 20 so I can take my titties out. I don't feel comfortable begging for money or being that salesy. If you want it, here it is. I'll make it accessible. And if not, then I'm going to do it for the people who will. Okay, cool. You know what I mean? I get you. It's just a moral thing, I guess. I get it. I'm not going to rip them off. Amazing. Well, yeah, 200 bucks. That's, that's, a, that's a bargain. You could get a nice pair of shoes for $200. You could sure. go to a nice dinner. I'd go to great dinner. Yeah. If, you're, if I'm a bargain shopper on the OnlyFans world, I'd be coming to you. For I don't some, know if that's a compliment. Underwear. I'm like the no, outlet shops of the OnlyFans uh, girls. <laughs> I'm just messing. It's, it's a light. It's a light. I would expect them more. Okay. That's all I'm saying, which is a compliment to you. Thank you. This is a question I ask every guest. Mm-hmm. Favorite question. Any odd subscriber request you've come across in your day that pop out to you? Um, I don't get crazy. I get a lot of ask for video calls. A lot of people just want to talk to me, personality things. Mm-hmm. But I have this scar on my arm. I don't know if you noticed it. I did not. But that I was, was a bit scar. by a shark when I was, was bit by a shark when I was like a toddlerish, four years old. And a lot of the times, my subscribers are always like, "Do you need to talk?" They think I tried to off myself because I have this huge scar. Okay. So that's an interesting conversation I often have that with is a subscribers. Big scar too. So big, right? Yeah. It goes over here too. Yeah, I'm happy you survived. Thank you. I mean, I think you're the first shark attack survivor we've had on the show. I'm a soldier. Wow, mm-hmm. we're making history. Yeah, history. And you're only four years older. I was. I was a little baby oh, girl. You should get one of those uh, shark tooth necklaces and say, eh. say you killed it. We didn't. I know. It swam away. Where did this happen? Uh, like St. Pete under like a pier when I was a baby. Nothing good happens in St. Pete. Nothing good. <laughs> Nothing good happens. And you can't Saint see Pete. what's under the water is the problem. Yeah. yeah. Now I'm not going to go in the water at St. Pete anymore. No. Well, hey, I'm glad you survived. Thank you. Want to hold hands about it? Yes. I'm, I'm glad you survived. That's Thank a, you. It's an interesting thing. Not, I don't want to get too much into the scar, but that's an interesting uh-huh. thing I've always wondered about scars in general. Yeah. And even tattoos. Uh huh. As your body grows, uh-huh. the scar grows. Yeah. I guess effectively. I've never really thought about that. Yeah. I don't know how I've gotten into the science of this. She stretches. You want to touch? Feels kind of like, just touch it. <laughs> right there. Like, I feel like that's the center of it. Uh huh. Oh, that doesn't feel better. I know. Wait, can I feel the other side? Ah, it feels kind of normal. And then I got like my two outlet scars. Oh, it's fucking badass, dude. Thank you. Congratulations. Anyway, that's one of the conversations I have often is I'm not depressed. Don't worry. I didn't. Oh, okay. I thought you were going to say that you had like that some guys have a, some sort of a scar king. Uh, no, I just, no. that's one of the odd conversations I have that stands out to do me. Do you happen to have one that jumps out on you that you think it was too much to do that you didn't do? Um, I did used to do a lot of customs. Okay. This is when I was in college um, at an apartment with four other girls. Mm-hmm. And I didn't often feel comfortable moaning a lot of other guys' names when my roommates are trying to do homework. Fair. So I did a lot of custom content in my closet. Oh, cool. And there were like shoes all over the place. And I was like, oh, Henry, that's so nice. The trials and tribulations of being a college girl on OnlyFans. Oh, gosh, huh? so troubling. So troubling. <laughs> any any other tough tough stuff when as a, as an actual college student being on OnlyFans? Any any other challenges you have to go through in your daily life? Um, in my daily life or in my college when life? In your college life. Like um, fans, everyone college knew life. Western Kentucky is a small school. Mm-hmm. Um, it's in the middle of the country. They love the city kids, which I was. Um, and one of my 
roommates had these boys over and he pointed to my roommate's door and was like, is that the OnlyFans girl? And I was like, the OnlyFans girl is right here. Ooh. So there were things like that where it was just conversations Unbelievable. of judgment. Um, so let's do some tweets. I'm just going to okay. wind down some tweets you've written down. You, you also recently made your, you made your Twitter recently. Uh, I think it seems. Yeah. I there was, wasn't that many. Usually it popped I, off real quick. I will always say the, um, the easiest way for me to find questions on the show is just to read people back their tweets. Okay. It's super easy. Yeah. But you only have like three here. But let's start it off. You're absolutely sliggered it on Twitter. I am. Sliggered it. Yeah. You're, you're very thankful for Elon Musk because you're posting some wild stuff on there. Very wild. I, Check out the Twitter, fellas. Thank you. But um, <laughs> everything you gotta like slow it down, maybe a little bit on Twitter. Uh, no, it's so like it's a thing now. Like if you look up Autumn Wren on TikTok, the thing, the first thing that comes up is Autumn Wren Twitter. Oh, on TikTok, it's like a whole thing. Mm, ooh, so the funnel over from TikTok, and that's how they get you. Yeah. Okay, uh, and you're uh, and you've been popping over TikTok too. What are you up to? Six hundred k on TikTok. I have six hundred k on one account, three hundred on another. So I'm almost to a total million. What's your formula? formula yeah what's the formula i Get post so quite followers. often post often and i'm live all the time live all the time we should do a tiktok live at some point we should lives. one band right now when you're on band we should do, i was actually thinking that today because That'd i was be watching fun. someone do a tiktok live earlier today and i was like you know what your receptionist no 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 oh just uh i was doing at least and tiktok because i was telling you lisa and got arrested oh and yeah and a former guest on the show will vicky do you know who will vicky is yeah i do yeah well vicky was a I didn't know that you could do. I didn't know that you could do lives with other people. And she was live with like another guy, like somewhere else. Yeah, I, like, I did oh, it on I, Instagram. I just doing TikTok lives. Yeah, on yeah. Instagram you can go live and you can like accept invites. So I talked mm -hmm. to a lot of people. There was like this one guy in yeah, Egypt. You, you do Instagram live all the time. I was watching one last week. Because I'm banned on TikTok. You live. were chefing stuff up. I chef it up. You were chefing up. Yeah. What do you make? Let's say I'm coming over for dinner. What's the, what's on the menu? Um, a good chicken rice veggie vibe. Um, pasta. I love a taco night. Okay. I'm not saying that I'm like Gordon Ramsay, but I can do some basic meals I do like the chicken rice well. veggie vibe. That's a perfect meal. Yeah, I, I will say, I've said this many times in my life. Uh -huh. I think if I could make one food zero calories, it would be rice. Yeah, I love rice. I think rice. rice is the best, most versatile. I, I'm obsessed with rice. What's your favorite rice? I love rice. We keep diving into I mean, food yeah, conversations. I, yeah, that's what happens when you come on the show. Okay. But uh, there's like, I love basmati rice. I love, uh, I love vermicelli rice. I like long grain rice. Long grain rice is great. I mm -hmm. love Spanish rice, like yellow Spanish Ooh, rice. Oh, yeah. But that, that, that's the point. There's so many different rices. There's so many different dishes. There's so many different things you could do. Mm -hmm. You could take a Mediterranean with with a chicken and rice bowl. You could take an Italian with risotto. Mm -hmm. You could take it. Uh, there's just so many. You, it's Asian, a versatile dish. Asian. You could do fried rice. Yeah. There's so many things you could do. If I can, like, I could just eat chicken and rice for every meal. Oh, I could. Every meal. I literally could. Yeah. What about your veggies? How are you going to get those in? I can throw them in the rice. Fuck like a Chipotle. veggie. Like Chipotle. Oh. oh. What's with Chipotle? I'm pretty sure it's just, um, what do they have in their rice? It's that green stuff cilantro. that I don't like. I don't like I hate cilantro. cilantro. I could do without. Well, that's the thing. You know, you know the thing about cilantro. No, what's the thing? Well, you don't know what the Bible belt is. I'm shocked. I'm not that I'm shocked. You don't know the cilantro thing. Oh, uh, okay. But there is a um, little fun fact. There's like some sort of a chemical or something in cilantro that makes basically half the people in the world think it tastes like soap i think it tastes like and soap I, and i have that me and you both have that ah oh. so that's a little fun fact okay there for you. we're part of sharing a, club. a fun fact on the show yeah but that is the one. thing you either you either love cilantro or you hate cilantro not me and i hate cilantro you yeah. hate cilantro i think i think the anti-cilantro folks should get some more should get more equality in restaurants we should also have a name like when you go to chipotle hi i'm Anti cilantro, and they have to get the white rice AC, from the. I have an AC clip, anti anti AC anti cilantro. Yeah, but it's true. Basically, half I think maybe one third or half of the population by science can't eat cilantro. Wow, well, and uh, not can't eat, but I think just think it's gross. Uh huh. I think we should get some more respect out there. How do you get all these fun facts that you have, like just hiding in your back facts. pocket? Where do you get them facts. from? Google? Do you read a lot? I like to read. I, I love like to, to read the internet, not real books. Oh. I like to read on the internet. Um. Actually, my my co my not my co-host, but the host of Sunday Conversation, Caleb. Have you ever seen videos of him with the long blonde hair? Yes, I have. So he used to do a show called Thinker at Barstool, uh -huh. and it was literally just he would share a fun fact every day. Oh, so he has a bunch of fun facts that he always shares with me. Uh huh. Like a re like recently, his his, his favorite one is that I don't even know if this is factually correct, but his favorite fun fact is the tongue is the strongest instrument in your body, like by its not only its strength but like its feel. So you could look at anything in this room right now. And you will automatically feel what your tongue would feel on it, if that makes sense. Like, if you look at this TV, 
you'd be like, oh, I know what that would feel like on my tongue. If you look at that plant uh... behind you, you'd say, I know what that would feel like on my tongue. If you looked at this bottle of water, you'd be like, I know what that would feel like on my tongue. Yeah. And you, and you can for everything. I am feeling it. Mm-hmm. Little, that is a good fact. fact. I like that one. Another one that I think Caleb's told me is um, with lobsters, uh-huh. they're originally known as like the, the grossest, the ant of the sea, like the grossest thing in the sea, but they're actually carnivores, so they eat each other. <gasps> so that's why they have to, um, cannibals, not carnivores. That's why they have to tie them up. So the, the whole process of actually fishing for the lobsters and tying their claws and whatnot make them more expensive. Ah. Uh-huh. Do you think if it came down to it, you could eat a human? No. I don't think I, I could Maybe if it came down to it. And I didn't like the person. Oh, so if you loved them, you're like, ah, I'll, I'd rather die. I'm not going to fucking eat like my mom. Right, who would? But I, would, I don't think I'd eat somebody, anyone. If it's somebody I'm not a fan of and there's a, and there's a natural disaster and maybe it's a zombie apocalypse. Yeah. And it's somebody I don't know and they're already dead and they're like, hey, you, you got to chow down on this guy? Yeah. Or I think, die. I think I could potentially do it. I'd rather not know. I wouldn't want to know either. I'd rather not know. I don't really know what would be the best part to eat. of you. I don't know either. I mean, it's going to sound gross, but like, people do eat humans. There are cannibals out there. I wonder if you could just eat, like, the coochie. Like, would you eat, like, a coochie and it would have flavoring? I think you lost me there. Okay. I mean, because it just says like know, things down there. I, I, I'm all for eating. Eating that, cooch? But if we're talking like a cooked vagina, I don't really, I don't really know the logistics of how that would work <laughs> to make it, to make it um, yeah. safe cooking. Yeah. I don't know how that would work. It would probably, all the juices and things that make it flavorful would sizzle out anyway. Yes. If we're being, if we're being frank, it would probably be a deceased person. Yeah, it would. So this is a really gross conversation. I don't know why we went into... You You brought it up. You started it, talking I, about lobsters. I would venture to guess if, I would venture to guess if a female had passed away uh-huh. and we were going to de- chow on her body, the vagina would be probably the last thing you would eat. I don't know about the last. I would say the last. You would rather eat an internal organ than a coochie lip? I would, I would venture to say the internal organs would be the top thing you eat. Oh. Uh. Like a liver or... I'm kind or, of vegetarian. So I don't know if I'd want an organ. Are you vegetarian? I'm not there yet, but I would like to be. What's holding you back? Um, I like chicken, and I Same. crave burgers on my period especially. Same. Yeah. Minus the period, but I do crave burgers. Yeah. Yeah. It happens every now and then. I had then. a bunch of burgers last week. What'd you have? Um, well, I got a burger from here, Shake Shack. Amazing. Which which one it's you get? Good. I like a well done burger. Ew. What kind of I burger you do you like? Bad taste. You have bad taste. No, you have horrendous taste. What else I think, do I have bad taste I think bad the population would agree that well done burgers are crazy. It's Especially good. Especially Shake Shack is a small pad. You can't even go well done there. I get my steaks well done as well. Ew. What do you get you yours? You might as well just go vegetarian now. You're <laughs> like wasting meat jerky. for others. It's you're wasting jerky. meat for others. Yeah, you're having a hockey puck. A medium rare. Did you make that up or is that a saying? That's no, a saying. Oh. It's medium. I like medium rare. I get a little, With little the pink red? in the center. No. Red on the outside, pink in the you center. You get salmonella often? Salmonella comes from chicken, not steak. Oh. You you are you you're down bad in the fun fact area. Let me tell you that. Bro. I told you about the Louisville Slugger Museum, being in Louisville. That you're from Louisville. <laughs> How many times a day do y'all jerk off? Be honest. How many times a day do you jerk off? Quite often. What's your what's your highest record record day? Record day. Record day. I would say eight. I think I'm around there as well. Yeah. Like in, in high school, when you first find out about it, like jerking. Yeah. Yeah. Summer, you're off. Yeah. No one's home. I could see that. How about you? What you say? Your so what? What was your eight day? Well, you I just eight day. I found out. Day? Listen to this. I didn't never try to vibrator until this year. Really? So when I found them, I was like, hey. It's like you built fire. Is, yeah. Like the cavemen finding fire. Yeah, but I typically come from penetration. This mm-hmm. is the only way I typically come. So when I found out about the vibrator, I was like, oh, this is quick and easy. You can just hold it there, and next thing you know, eight orgasms later. Eight orgasms later. In one day. Yeah. Well, girls can do it quicker than guys. How much time did you have on your hands to jerk off eight times a day? Let me picture a horny teenager with nothing to do all day. You want to know a fun fact? I yeah. have a fun fact. Please fill me in. First time I gave a guy a blowjob was the first time he had ever come in his life. Ooh, that must, that's a fucking I'm jealous of that guy. Can you imagine that? Yeah. A blowjob for your first call? He had emotional like attachment to me for longer than I one would imagine. I totally get it. I, I, unbelievable <laughs> that's your first time yeah that's like that's like your first fucking golf course being pebble beach that's like your first time driving a car being a lamborghini oh okay i get that one i get that comparison yeah. yeah jesus christ i'm so, jealous of that dude i did that wow how'd that go 
uh, well, good. was a quick and easy I'm about to say, situation. It must, have, it must have been a yeah. very quick situation. Imagine how he felt. I can't imagine being in his situation like, oh, that happens? You know, for that, I almost don't even want to be in a situation. You want to know why? Why? Because that's an all downhill from there moment. It is. Nothing's going to top that. Next thing you know, you have to use your hand for a few years. Exactly. Getting getting head for your first time ever coming. Yeah. That's peak. That is a peak. That's literally peak. First time coming, blow That's That's unbelievable. Yeah. Congrats to him. Yeah. He's doing well. He was in love with me for like 10 years. <laughs> I get it. You you would be the same way. You probably still. I was probably still in love with you. Yeah. So I'm still waiting for that moment. Maybe he follows me on Instagram. Do you follow him back? No. Why not? I mean, we dated. I don't typically follow my ex boyfriends on Instagram. Ooh, I actually, I actually like to hear you. Um, I would like to hear this take from you. Actually, speaking of that. Okay, you I need some advice. Give, no, no, I don't need advice. Oh, okay, okay. But I recently had a guest in here. I don't know which episode's going to come out first. I uh -huh. recorded a bunch at the AVN last week. Uh -huh. Some one of my guests mentioned that how many ex boyfriends do you have? I've dated four guys in my entire life. So you've dated four guys your entire life. I'm on the fourth right now. I know you're on the fourth. Okay, so you've dated three before, mm -hmm. three in the past. And she said that it's like disrespectful to follow anyone you've ever had sex with before your current boyfriend. Do yeah. You, do you agree? Yes. So you unfollowed all the all the exes? I mean, I think that there's just no reason to see them daily. If I don't, there's no reason for me in my life to see an ex-boyfriend on my feed every day. I don't need... To be a part of your life anymore. I am not pals with any of my ex-boyfriends. But the amount of people you've slept with, that's a little bit different. If it's a one-night stand, mm -hmm. I've only slept with five people in my life. So four boyfriends and one one-night stand? Yeah. How'd the one-night stand go? It was a one-night stand. <laughs> Where was that? You ever had a one-night stand? Yeah. I don't typically feel good about it afterwards. I've, I've, that I've, one I've time. I've had one or two. <laughs> They're fun. <laughs> they weren't so fun to me. I love them. Okay, good for you. Yeah, to each their own. Do you have a? Do you have like a normal Instagram? I do have a normal Instagram. I, you seem like a girl that would have a normal Instagram. And I post like pictures of the sky. Just wholesome stuff. I do. The whole nine horses. Would sky. you follow that account, or would you be like, "This is annoying. I want to see." I'll probably titties. just stick to Autumn Ryan. You stick, stay on there. <laughs> I'll follow both. Oh, that's nice. I'll follow. Do you both. have a personal account? No. Okay. Uh, no, I, well, I have a close friend story. I post on close. Put me story. on it. Nah, you were on mine for a second. You took me off. Oh, yeah, you did take me off. Yeah, because you weren't supposed to be there ever. Then why'd you put me on in the first place? It was an accident. I was you adding my new put friends. Somebody on their close friends. Why would I have put you, the only guy ever, on my close friend story? And how embarrassing because we just had our first conversation. And I looked like I was trying so hard. I was on there. I, I saw. I saw the green ring around your face. And then you called me out, and I was so embarrassed. I, did. I was. I forgot what you what you post. I don't even know. It was something so. I think it was like some of the cat. I have two dogs. I don't know. For some reason the cat stuff. I don't it's have really, any cats. Really not. What kind of dogs do you have? Uh, I have a pit mix and a Dalmatian. They're the best dogs. How are Dalmatians? People, I feel like Dalmatians got a bad rap. Bad. They think bad, they a bad dogs. Rap. I've had to invest like $8,000 in this dog's training. So we're out on Dalmatians. We're out. Don't, I'll never get one again. But he's good now. Yeah, they get a bad rap. I have one of my TikTok videos went viral because he like sniffed between my legs. Hell yeah, brother. And I got a lot of subscribers asking for uh, doggy content. Dog content? What's the definition of dog content? Like when dogs... Yeah. I blocked them. Because one thing you're not going to mess with is my dogs. I don't like that. I don't like it at all. I mean, what's better than that? Blocked. Dog and woman. But I don't want to see it together. No. It's a, it's, it's a Venn diagram that shouldn't come together in the yeah. middle. Yeah. That Venn diagram should never cross yeah. dogs and, never. and dogs no. and sex. How would you even like feel looking at your dog after that? Disgusting. I don't think you could possibly look at your dog after no. that. No. That's a... That's a that's a woof woof, no good. <laughs> that's that's a big woof woof. No yeah, good. that was never gonna happen. Oh man, keep your Dalmatian pure. I will. Well, um, final question. Oh, okay. I noticed you said that you only come from penetration before. I do. You recently found out about the vibrators. The you recently the tweeted. The last thing you tweeted recently was, um, would you date a squirter? Would you? Well, you you tweeted, would you date a squirter with a video of you, in fact, squirting? squirting. How'd you how'd you? Come about that. You know, that was a new thing recently. How'd you come about actually. that? Yeah, just fill me in. That's been like a past few months I realized I could squirt, and it took a lot of concentration at first. Yeah, take me through the journey. I thought it was pee. I also mm. have a question for you. Sometimes do you feel like you're horny, but you just need to pee? When I wake up in the morning, usually, right? <laughs> no, no. Sometimes Anytime I'm you like, wake up in the morning, good, you generally just have to pee. You're like, maybe I'm horny, maybe I need to fuck. And then when you're fucking, you're like, no, but I could just, just use the to toilet pee. right now. Mm -hmm. It's just the pee tingling up okay. on me. Anyway, 
Back to the squirting journey. Back to the squirting Interesting journey. Take by you, but I'm yes. just it was actually with a dildo on one of my solo tapes for the first time. And I kept it chill. I didn't react like, ah, I did it. Ooh. I should have though. You just played it cool. Right. I was I, I was know, I mad think I, chill. That was, I think I just squirted. I'm gonna play it cool. <laughs> you should have reacted big. I imagine I how much that was sold if you were like, Oh, this is my first ever squirt. This is my first ever spontaneous squirt. Right. And of course you would label tapes like that. This is my first time ever, but it was genuinely my first time ever. I know. I fumbled the bag there, but Dude, that's a bag fumble. Ever since then, I've been able to squirt more and bigger and wetter. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Do people go crazy for the squirt videos? People like the squirting. Mm -hmm. Interesting. Yeah. People like my jerk off instructions the best, though. Oh, really? Yeah. You ever watch a jerk off instruction? I rarely do. Uh huh. But I will say, we do ask guests on the show when they say they're good at it. Can you give the fellas like a 20 second jerk off? Oh, God. Does that actually happen typically? Well, you just got you don't have to, but those clips do do well. I can do it. Nah, you can't do it. I can, it's your first podcast. You don't have to. I'm not nervous. Are you nervous? You just said I can't do it. I can. Oh. I have a little bit of stage fright, but I'll do it. All right. You want me to do it while I'm looking deep into your eyes? Not really. <laughs> look, at, look at the wall. No, I'm going to look at you. I don't want you to look at me. I'm going to look over here. I want you to get in bed and get very comfortable. I want you to play with the lining of your pants. Tease your hand on your cock on top of your jeans before you unbutton your jeans, zip down your pants, and whip out that big cock. How do you feel so far? I don't wear jeans. You don't wear jeans? They're not in my wardrobe. Okay, well, I'm in Kentucky. I don't wear jeans. People are having I'm jeans. Wear, I wear joggers or shorts. And they're shorts. playing with their penis on yeah, top of their jeans. I wear jeans. joggers, shorts. How I don't you, wear jeans. How would you rate it, though, so far? I can keep going. Can I be honest? Yeah. I think you're going a little too fast. You're going too fast. I think you got to slow it down. Ah. Oh. I don't. I don't mean to judge your JOI. <laughs> I think you got to slow your okay. JOI down a little bit. Get comfortable. Get comfortable. Get comfortable. Lean on back. Lean back. You had a hard day. I want to take that weight off of you. I want to make you feel good. Oh, you're good. Is that better? <laughs> Is that getting better? Go a I was waiting I for the gotta, feedback and you didn't give me slower. anything. I think you got to go a little slower. Okay, well. You're, you're a fast J.O.Y. Yeah, it's like a 10 minute J.O.Y. though, so I'm talking oh, fast yeah, for yeah. a while. Amazing. Well. All right, that was great. You're great. And um, I usually end. You got any questions for me? Uh, No, I was asking you a bunch of questions before the podcast. Well, how did you feel about this interview? Did you have fun? I thought it was lovely. I enjoyed it a lot. Okay, I good. knew it would be good. I told you, I'm, very, I'm a very good um, judge of character. Yeah. Off Instagrams and just DMs in general. Yeah. I could tell you're going to be fine and nice. This was a good interview. Do you think we could be friends after this? <laughs> Why not? I would like to be your friend after this. We can stay texting. Sure. You like all the I'll, selfies I'll... I was sending you? Well, I just you sent me a selfie yesterday because I thought you weren't here. You sent me a selfie of you in a helicopter, so I thought it was appropriate yeah. to send you a selfie on the street in New York. I thought you weren't here yesterday. I thought I, thought I was going to get, um, I don't want to say the name of the person that did right. it. I thought I was going to get um, blown off because I. You were on Instagram Live yesterday, and I just uh -huh. clicked it, and I was like... Does that happen to you a lot? You get blown off quite often? No, not often, but it yeah. happened to me with a live stream one time. Yeah. And I saw you live, and I was like, she's, like she's in New York right now. No, I'm just live she's, every she's day. She's supposed to be here tomorrow. Once we have, <laughs> I was like, so, I just want to confirm we're still so, doing this. It's just blowing me off. Because I have, there was, I did have a big guest, a huge guest one time that was supposed mm -hmm. to be here at like 11 a.m. On, yeah. on a, on like, let's say it was a Monday. Yeah. And she was just streaming from her house in L.A. at like 11 p.m. on a Sunday night. I was like, oh, yeah, she's not coming. Wait, this does embark a question. Who's the most famous person you've ever had? On this show? On this show and then your s Sunday conversations? Is Sunday that Sunday conversation would be Drake. Wow. You've met Drake? Yeah. Talk to him? I will. Let me tell you, I don't want to toot Sunday conversations horn. Me and, me and Caleb were bored the other day. You can toot it. Just uh, just going through a list because I, we were. I want to. Say, I was saying I want to make a Sunday conversation Spotify playlist uh -huh. of all the musical guests we've had on. Uh -huh. I just put everyone's music together. Our music our music guest list is pretty insane. Can I hear? I'll read it, I'll read it out to yes, you. Yes, right please. It's pretty insane. Drake, Morgan Wallen, Ed Sheeran, Post Malone, Chainsmokers, Machine Gun Kelly, T-Pain, Lil Yachty, Ice Cube, Sexy Red, Kodak Black, Luke Combs, Fat Joe, Rick Ross, Anita, Jelly Roll, Lil Dicky, Darius Rucker, Young Gravy, Chase Rice, St. John, T. Grizzly. I love Lil Dicky. Was he so funny? Yeah. You have a phenomenal list. That's a pretty good fucking you musical. You should be That's so proud of yourself. That's a pretty good list. That's awesome. And not to mention, it would be a pretty sick playlist. Congratulations. You know Ed right. Sheeran is like top three artists ever? I agree. I went to his concert in Tampa. Oh, really? Yeah, it was at, fun. At the, at the Ray? At the RJ? Yeah, I lived like two minutes from it, so amazing. I heard every concert. Yeah, we went to uh, the one in Arrowhead. It was amazing. Thank you for joining us. Thank you for having me.